Um, all right. Well, anyway, uh, is that everything? Yeah, that's it. Everything until this, baby. Backlog! 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 Oh, it's backlog time. And hey. guess what? I added all my Steam games. Oh. I didn't add all my Switch games yet. Yes. But I added we have more games that oh, I Oh wow. Yeah, that's it. It, gets, it keeps growing. It keeps growing. And it's gonna keep growing the more games come out. Because every game we've ever bought, uh going back to when we were little ins to now that we're old ass men, every game we've ever bought, we put into an Excel spreadsheet uh to catalog them. And today we're gonna pick one at random and talk about it, regardless of whether or not we played it. I scroll to the bottom, but I didn't sort it correctly. Okay. No, I I, I sorted it. Oh, okay. I so what, it, yeah. how many do we have now? Oh, I, I gotta scroll all the way to the bottom. This nine something. Nine hundred and fifty nine. Damn, I did a lot. Uh, you're looking at number 865. Okay. Ooh, this might be one of the new games. 865, and that is... Uh, okay. Sonic the Hedgehog, the original for the Genesis. Wow. Uh, it's specifically the the, three, the one I got on 360. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's, it's Sonic the Hedgehog 1, the original, the one that started it all. We had previously talked about the Game Gear version. Of the game. Oh, okay, interesting. But now we're talking about the actual Sonic the Hedgehog. Game. So, was there anything different about the Xbox 360 version? No, it's just a port. Just a port. Yeah. Just okay, because this it. game has been ported a billion times. Yes. And we have every version. We have just about <laughs> every version of it. Yes. I don't know which version we don't have. We have every version. I I don't have the Sega Ages version on Switch. Oh, I do. I, you do. I definitely okay. do. Yeah. Wait, wait, that? wait. No, not Ages. Yeah. I don't have ages. Yeah, there's there's the Genesis version. There's the 360 version. There's there's the one on GBA, which we don't have, but I don't want because that game's butt, apparently. Oh, the original Sonic yeah, on it's GBA? Called, it's, called Sonic, it's called Sonic the Hedgehog Genesis, and it's a port of Sonic from Genesis onto GBA. But Never heard of that. The screen size is like shrunk down. The frame rate is like in half. So like it's just an all-around unplayable mess. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we have a lot of other ones. We have like, yeah. Also, is is it in Sonic Origins? Yeah. Okay. I have that too. Yeah. So there you go. Uh, we have, yeah. And Sonic Origins is one of the good ones. Sonic Ages is one of the good ones because they had the yeah. spin dash to, yes. to the game. Yeah. Uh, Sonic, the or the original Sonic the Hedgehog, unfortunately, uh, is not that great. Because, no. Mostly because it doesn't have that spin dash. Yeah. It feels like it's missing something when you oh, go yeah. back and play it. I'm sure at the time it felt fine because it's basically just a platformer. Yeah. But uh, you want to be able to go fast immediately. Yeah. And you can't just pick up speed right away. You have to gain that speed through walking. He walks so slow. Yeah. At first. So uh, I never liked the original Sonic. It, we were huge into Sonic 2 and yeah, Sonic 3. Yeah, that's the thing. We started with Sonic 2. Yeah, so it was really hard for us to go back. Yeah. And, like, going back between Sonic 2 and Sonic 1 is, like, a shell shock of the highest order. Because, like, Sonic 2, you had this, the spin dash was the big one. That, yeah. like, changed everything. That's, like, the manual in Tony Hawk. Once you got that, you can't go back to Tony Hawk 1 because now it opens up a whole web of possibilities on how to play the game. There was that. There was... The every zone had three acts instead of two, which like made the game feel longer by comparison to the later Sonic games. And also, too, well, the last act is usually just a boss battle, right? Right. Yeah. Well, no, no. The no? last act is a full level and then the boss battle. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. And then, like, to top it off, after Green Hill Zone. The levels like slow down considerably and they become more like traditional platformers. And, and it's green, very hard. Yeah. 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 Green Hill Zone was like really the level that like highlighted the speed and like the, the whole selling point of Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. It's easy to build momentum on yeah. Green Hill Zone. But then as you get to the later levels, you are just slowly platforming and it's just yeah. not that fun. Yeah. It's, it's very, it's a very weird game to like go back to and play. The later versions that do add the spin dash yeah. to the game help out considerably. Yeah. But you're still dealing with uh, a predominantly slow platforming game after the first level. You're dealing with 
uh longer levels that like you know break up that like don't really have good pacing to them yeah uh you're you're also dealing with genuinely the worst special stages in the whole, in the entire series of Sonic the Hedgehog. They reuse these special stages a lot. And I don't know why. They're terrible. <laughs> they're not, they're, they're not genuinely great. the worst they're, special they're stages. They're not that good. They've never been fun. They're always like cumbersome and confusing. You know? And I, that's why people don't want to collect the Chaos Emeralds. What is it? The second level literally just slowly standing on a rock going yeah. through lava. Yeah. Like, I don't understand it because like even back in the when this came out, mm-hmm. like the whole selling point was Sonic go fast. Sonic, it's all about speed. Mario, he's he's got like, he's got polio legs. He can't walk too fast. But like <laughs> Sonic, Sonic's cool. He, he runs fast. And like they show it in the first level, and then like immediately it's like go to platform slowly. This guy platform. was this guy's literally waiting for a platform. I to know. Appear. Like <laughs> it's incredible that like you, we forget so much. Like they invented a marketing term. For the Genesis, because of how fast he is. Yes. Yeah. Like, but like, no, this is a, a slow ass game. Yeah. I mean, the the whole thing with Sonic being fast has always just been a marketing thing because he is just as fast as Mario. Yeah, but by the same time, like later games in the series, like do a much better job. They of focus like, on it and they make you feel like he's going really yeah. fast, and and they give you tools to go fast. But I wouldn't really mind if. The game was mostly a platformer because I see Sonic as mostly a platformer. I, when people say like, uh, people criticize early Sonic games because uh, uh, it they're always running, going fast, and then they hit yeah. a brick wall or something, or they right. hit an enemy, and it really screws your momentum. I always see Sonic as just a straight up platformer. I'm not always going fast. I'm usually just just having a good time. But there's moments in like Sonic Three, for example where it makes you feel like you gain momentum every once in a while and it feels really good along with the good level design and the good platforming that happens in between that when 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 the game slows down this doesn't have much of that no i would say like a good sonic game is one that does go fast but like it's a it's fast enough where your reflexes still work so like you you hit top speed and you you can see the enemies coming and you can react to mm. it accordingly. You know, some of the bad Sonic games like will just put up like an enemy like where you can't react in time. You know, but like a good Sonic game will give you just enough time and just enough uh resources to get through just about anything. This game, you know, you're you're going like 2 miles an hour, so you got plenty of time to yeah, you know, get through everything. I would argue it's just that a Sonic game makes you feel like you have the the fastness yeah not necessarily that you're actually going fast yeah um later versions of this game added stuff like the spin dash but also there's some that give you uh other characters that you can play like i think in sonic origins you could play yeah you guys everyone that's sick that that adds a lot more to 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 the game but this is still my least favorite of the genesis sonic games oh absolutely and i mean it's the oldest so uh, it makes sense that yeah but i mean like i guess at the time like this is 1991 you know we didn't really like i don't think the super nintendo came out in america yet mm-hmm. so like we didn't see anything like this the the bright colors the the sense of speed the music the music in this game like for all its faults the music in this game still slaps yeah it's like, still good yeah still good music. so there's nothing you know nothing wrong there um and it, yeah like this this was the game that put the genesis on the map this started the very first console war this like sold an entire system I believe it's still the best-selling game on the system, like today. Mm-hmm. I, so, like, it's it's a landmark game. It's an important game. More than anything, it sold a character because yeah. Sonic has always been popular, not because the games are amazing, but because the character is amazing. Yeah, the character. It's such good character yeah. design and world building and stuff. Uh, but it does have some great games. We are genuinely Sonic fans. Yes. We're not those that say that Sonic doesn't have a good game. Yeah. Some of the games are amazing. Yes. This is not one of them. Exactly. It's yeah. a, it's a very hard game to go back to and play, uh, especially nowadays with like all the other better games that have come after it. Like I would recommend Sonic Two in a heartbeat. I would recommend Sonic Three and Knuckles in a heartbeat. Mm-hmm. Even like the modern versions that add like the spin dash and the extra characters, stuff, I don't know if I would recommend it because like everything else about the game. Yeah, everything else is just so much better. Yeah. So why did you get the one for the for the Xbox 360? It was I think it was on sale for like a dollar. The whole series was okay. on sale for like a dollar. So I figured, why not? 
get them and they're playable on xbox one and series x so like okay. i have now i have them so if i want to just like boot it up i don't have to like dig out the genesis or like any other system they're just there so i just go right into it we've talked about a lot of sonic games here we have all of them all of them <laughs> yeah basically all of them. um i would like to issue a correction for last week's backlog okay i called uh solid snake naked snake and i would like yes. to apologize you, you profusely that. to the metal gear solid community yeah. the one who called me out is snake eater in our chat oh his name yeah. is snake eater yeah, you'd be very the one. <laughs> upset with me i am very sorry uh i i should have corrected you i should have been better about correcting you because technically he's old snake in that game true yeah so right. i will also i will also fall on the sword on that one but it's mostly Bob's fault. <laughs> Thanks for watching the backlog, everybody. Uh, watch the other episodes where we have a bunch of Sonic episodes. We we have a bunch of Sonic episodes. We have more Sonic episodes to come. But maybe next week, it won't be Sonic. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> uh, bye. Bye.